Old City Press here to show you how to format your design in Adobe Illustrator into a plate ready digital negative. So the first thing I did was I made my artboard the size of the plate that I like to order. Next I'm going to outline all of the text within my design. And by doing this you select your text, go up to the type menu, and scroll down to create outlines. Next I'm going to add crop marks. So I'm going to select my border, go to effect, crop marks, and then object, expand appearance, and finally ungroup because there's some editing we need to do. I'm going to deselect my border And it's a good thing to know to, for your lines to show up clearly on your polymer plate to have everything at least a 0.5 stroke. Um, I'm going to make mine 0.7 just to be safe. And then I'm also going to make go ahead and make my crop marks black. And I'm going to make them 100% K by clicking this box right here. You'll notice your CMYK channels automatically appear and black is at 100%. I'm going to go ahead and delete my border. Now I have a two color design so I'm going to copy and paste it a second time in order to make two separate plates for my two separate colors. So edit, copy, paste, now the first thing I'm going to do is delete um, one color from one plate and the other from the other. So for this first one I'll go ahead and delete uh, everything that is gray. So I'm going to select these. and just delete them. And then on the second one I'm going to delete everything that is my second color. Next I'm going to make everything black the same black that we made the crop marks. So an easy way to select everything that has the same color is to click on something of the first color. So I clicked on this mint and go to select same fill color. And you can see it selected everything with that color. I'm going to go to my fill color and also make that 100% black, just like the crop marks. I'm going to do the same thing again, so select my gray, select menu, same, fill color. I'm going to make these black. And then lastly, my strokes. And there you have the two layers. Finally, to make it a negative, go to your rectangle tool and make a box that covers your film. Make your stroke none. And then your fill color, make white right here. And then we go, I'm going to send it behind my image so that I can see it. So we go object, arrange, send to back.
And finally, select the entire thing, edit, go down to edit colors, and then invert colors. And this will turn your file into your digital negative. And lastly, I'm going to click on the black. And just to make it even more black, I'm going to make all of my channels in my CMYK color palette 100%. And there you have it.